Hello, I'm going to explain how to restrict the domain or range of a function on Desmos. So I've got three functions here, a parabolic, uh, a quadratic function, a sinusoidal function, and a linear function. So I'm going to start by um, just dealing with the linear function. Um, and before I explain how to restrict the domain or range, I want to just explain what they are. The domain is the set of all possible x values. And this linear function goes through all the x values. If you zoom out, no matter how far you zoom out, it's going through all of them. It's going all the way to the left and all the way to the right. So we would say, a mathematician would say that its domain is all real numbers. And we would say that its range is also all real numbers because it's going infinitely up and infinitely down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to restrict the domain. <clears throat> And the way I'm going to do that is by putting the braces in. So to get the braces, you can either go down here to the show keypad and click ABC, and it's these little squiggly braces right here. Um, the other thing you can do is you can type them there in between the enter and the backspace key on most keyboards. So I wanted to restrict this domain so that its x values can only be greater than 270. And so look, the graph only exists when the x values are greater than 270. So instead of being all real numbers, it's only real numbers greater than 270. If I flip, if I change this to less than 270, what do you think is going to happen? Yep, only goes there. So next I'm going to turn off this linear function and turn on this trigonometric function, this sinusoidal function. So what do you think happens if I restrict the range of this function? The range is the set of all possible y values. Right now, the domain of this sinusoidal function is all real numbers. It's going to keep going infinitely to the left and infinitely to the right. However, its range is only from negative 1 to positive 1. I think I need to maybe put this there. I need to have y's there. So let me just go ahead and do that real fast. I was trying to put it in function notation. I don't know how to restrict the dom the range when it's not when it's in function notation. So, anyways, this sinusoidal function exists has a domain of all real numbers and has a range of real numbers between negative 1 and positive 1. So when I put this, it's not restricting the range because the range was already restricted. Sign doesn't go any smaller than negative 1, and it doesn't go any bigger than positive 1. However, if I change this to a 0, notice what happens. The sine graph that was a sinusoid goes down, up, down, up, is only going to exist as long as the y value is between 0 and 1, which is why it's only doing the top hump and not the bottom hump. Okay, if I now want to go to this parabola, and what I want to do is I want to restrict it on both ends. If I do something like this, uh, the y has to be less than or equal to 3. I get a smiley face kind of situation. Let's say, um, let's say I do x is less than or equal to 3. Now we get that because x equals 3 is right here next to 0, right down there. Um, let's say I actually make this greater than. And instead of doing 3, let me do negative 130. There we go. 
So on the left hand side, I'm restricting, I'm cutting it off right here. There's a line, there's negative 90, there's negative 180. So negative 130 is right here. X equals negative 130. It's a vertical line right here. So I don't want it to exist to the left of that. And over on this side, instead of making a cutoff on the right of it, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do a range restriction. So I'm going to say that the Y value cannot be bigger than 2. And look at that. So I've got a cutoff here on this side at X as negative 130. The X has to be bigger than negative 130 right there. And over here, I'm saying the Y cannot be bigger than positive two.